G'day gamers, welcome to Dog Shadow Gaming. I'm Belth, and as always, we live to game and game to live on this channel. And today we're looking at our fourth episode of our uh, War, Total War Warhammer 2 Dwarves campaign with Grombrindle, the White Dwarf. Uh, so, looking at where we left off last time, we had uh, taken our Silver Path, uh, the Silver Road, in the first turn. Um, this is the first, our first. Uh, uh, what do you call it, a province, um, and then we took our first uh, quest battle here, that was in the first episode, then we took Mount Gumbag in the second, um, we came down here and stomped out um, Karagron and then took it in the last, uh, and we were moving, we built our second backup army, which is kind of our defensive army, who sits around our base and sort of just defends, made up of our cheaper score units, a bit more of a turtle army, it's just sort of heavy front line, um, some heavy hitting here, something to deal with cav, um, something to deal with large, this is large as well, um, something to deal with infantry and just blow them to pieces. Um, that was our backup. Our main um, army with Grombrindle, uh, has the White Dwarf, we have the Ruinsmith there, we've got a couple of heavy hitting long beards with great weapons just for that AP, um, we've got our Slayers so that we can take care of any cavalry, we have upgraded our front line to mostly long beards which is great, uh, we have our Iron Drakes which we've been playing with since the start, a couple of Thunderers just because I, I do like to have them sitting on the wings just to fire in, uh, and then a couple of corals just so that we have that over you know these are our guys that sort of sit in the center so they can shoot over troops where these guys struggle to do that you've really got to do it in micro here um, we've got our gyrocopter brimstone gun just to harass back lines take out you know artillery and we've got our cannon for armor piercing and anti-large and then our grudge throwers three of which which deal with our infantry so pretty heavily artillery and uh, fire powered back line and a fairly strong front line with a little bit of everything in it. So doing pretty well. Um, now do remember this is on normal, it's really just a, um, you know, it's just like an easy casual playthrough for our first Total War Warhammer 2 playthrough. I plan to do a couple more of these on the channel, I, this is one of my favorite games to play. Um, because it combines my two favorite genres realistically. I love the Total War franchise, it's a fantastic franchise, fantastic games, and um, I'm a massive big Warhammer fan as well. So I love both the Warhammer Fantasy and the 40k, just love it. Haven't really gotten into the, um, the new the Sigma um, one. I don't, can't remember what it's called. Um, it's not bad. I've had a little bit of a look at it, but I, I prefer the old stuff. It's a little bit more. I, I'm an older bloke. I'm 35. I sort of grew up with the Tolkien stuff. So, um, yeah, loving it, loving it. All right. So, what do we? What are we facing up? Well, we want to try and we really want to try and get Baragvar if we can, because this gives us a great access to trade down the river here, which then goes out into the sea, and you can then trade with everybody, including the Empire. You're not restricted to landmass locks, so we can trade here with um, Zufbar because, oh, we also have them coming up here. Yeah, we kind of, we really want that. We want to, want to grab that so we can get some walls up to give them a little bit extra defense. If they start getting too much closer, if he moves up to here in the next one, I'll actually put a Lord in there just to give a little bit of extra. Um, we can also ask our guys to come and take him out. Um, Zufbar is struggling a little bit. He has got one army. A second one started, but it's not really much good. These guys are on a path, though. This is fully kitted out, so even if he takes it... I mean, we don't mind if he takes it, because if he takes it, I'm going to build an army and go and take that because it's a province those two so that'll give us some just some nice um space but anyway because we have landlocked with both Karakadron, Ungram Iron, um, Iron Fist the Slayer King and we've got Zufbar not really sure who the king is there it's it's not really he's not a named character um so we can trade with both of those and we can should be able to trade with Baragvar pretty soon um so we, we have some trade, and Dwarves do really well with trade. We need to take uh, the Neck Hills and Dok Karaz in order to really sort of... And then we want to take that, because that's a province right there. And we don't want Altdorf to take that. Now, the problem here lies in the fact that we're going to be constantly getting these... Um, the, uh, the Greenskins here uh, coming straight up. I'm pretty sure I can't remember what they're called, whether that's... It's Azhag there, and there's no, there's nobody there, who's this, it's just a goblin shaman by the looks of it, or is it, 
Yeah, Goblin Great Shaman. So we're probably gonna roll him down there and just smash them. We'll probably just sit here for one more turn. Um, we don't really want them to take this back just yet. Kind of want to smash them in down here. I'm not too fussed about losing Karadrum. Uh, if I lose it, mm, it's not a big deal because, you know, like I, I really haven't put anything into it, nor will I. Um, if he comes up for Mount Screwhorn, well, that's fully defensible. Um, not a big problem. We can shift the Lord in there pretty quickly to give him a little bit of extra oomph. And, I mean, the pillars, you've got three turns on this being maxed out. We've got double on the Grudge Gate. So we've got a Grudge Throw there, Dwarf, Warriors with great weapons, then Quarrelers, three of those. So we've got some artillery and some firepower. It's already got a garrison, but if it goes up, it'll get even more of it. So it's not a big, it's not a massive problem. We can always put something back there. Um, if we can secure this area enough, I can kind of leave. This can become our new front line offensive. We need to secure the back end here. You've got between Zufbar and um, Kadron. Is that Kadron? Yeah, Carrick, Carrick Hearn, sorry. Hearn. They're a pain in the bum, but they should be fairly reliable. We've still got the Empire here that are pushing on the Vampires, so there shouldn't really be much room for the Vampires to come down here, and they're not going to be happy about it if they do come through, so they're going to be doing a lot of defensive work there. We've got a really good alliance going here with these guys, so they'll probably be a trading partner. Ooh, he's lost. Oh, he's lost that to the bloody hands. Interesting. Oh, he's gone after. Okay, he's gone up there. All right. Um, so, yeah, we want to try and make this our front line. Uh, now, this Karagdron and Black Crag, and this is uh, basically the hardest place in the Orcs, I think, to take. Um, we, we've already got this. We can take this. This is a bit harder once it's fully worked up which it is, but we can take those fairly easy and push the offensive down here. Once you hold Black Crag and you build it up, you can then push into here. There's a dwarf in here, whether he's still surviving or not, I don't know. And then you kind of just want to slowly try and push down. This is where the big, like the grind fest comes down here, because this is pretty much all Orc lands. And then you're moving into um, Scully lands. So anyway, let's have a go and uh, see where we're at. So uh, first off, he can pretty much move and attack here. Or he can jump into underway. He can't really... Can he get there? Oh, or he can get there and defend here. Either way, I mean... If I move off this spot, if I move off here, I could probably wipe him out. They'll come in and take this, which means in the next turn I could then come back and take it if I really want to. Unless he doesn't. He will though. Um, he might stay there if we move in. So what I'm probably going to do here is move to here. My axe and just see it. Boom. Right, so if he does come in here, he's what? he's going to he's gonna have to face that full stack of 20, which is a good army, especially for underway. There's a, remember we want to fight in underway if we can. Um, here, here, however, now. we yeah, we're, all, we're in pretty good nick. So we're going to just Fight. jump in here because we don't want Alpdorf to take it. Let's go. All right. Lightning strikes doing nothing because they really don't... Do they have a garrison? Does that change anything, really? It doesn't really change anything because it's garrisoned, I suppose should still change it though. Oh, because he's sitting in it and it's garrisoned. Okay, it doesn't really matter. Um, it does have walls, but we can blow those walls down. The walls actually help us in this way because he's got a lot of cav, and so he's not going to be able to use that cav. So we're going to fight this. Should be loads of fun. Let's have a go. So guys, as always, um, remember if you're enjoying the clip or you enjoy the stuff, then uh, hit that like button, smash the subscribe, click the little bell for all the updates. It really helps the channel. Uh, if you're watching, that's if you're watching on YouTube. If you're watching on Facebook, then please like, uh, follow the page and share the page out to all your friends. Um, you never know who might be a closet gamer and really enjoy it. If not, that's cool. Um, you can also follow us on Instagram at Dog Shadow Gaming, and you can also follow us on Twitter at Dog Shadow Game One. Okie dokie. Now, what are we going to want to do here? There's one entrance. And we want to go straight up the center. We don't, however. 
don't really want to be taking it from every one of these towers and that's that's really where the thing is here so what we're going to do is we're going to play a little bit cheeky we're going to move our move guys over here and shoot in we'll just leave our um we're going to move Grendel here and we're going to move our ruin priest over here you 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 and you gonna go there that's gonna give us great range we can just smash these towers um which is gonna be really good so they're gonna do that we're gonna have you sit right in the middle of them just give them all a nice little buff which will be good um then we're gonna move your fire drakes we're gonna move them we're gonna want them over here because they're gonna just plow this wall so we're going to move them there. And what have we got? Yep. They can shoot up on the walls. They're going to do the same. And now. Now these guys are going to sit around about here. We're going to shoot them straight in to try and um, just really weaken up anything on this here. These guys are all going to move up. And this is going to... That's going to shoot them. And that's going to maybe get the tip. We don't want to come too far out. Our cannon is going to have to go there. I'm pretty sure... That should miss everybody. We'll come back just a little bit. That should give us what we want to take this tower out and blow the wall through. Um, we want to open up two lines of offensive. So these guys are all going to sit back over here. Giving us... Because that will come out to about there. We'll see. Basically what we're trying to do is um Long be it. For the get ourselves as tight over here as we can so the that we can oh, avoid as much of their Jones. artillery as humanly possible Long so we don't want to just sit there and take it that would not be good so I put these guys on top actually not good if they've got artillery, but um, we should miss most of that, I'm hoping. That's the arc there. Uh, we can leave him out here just as basically, just to basically duke them. And these guys will head in. So let's start it up now. See how we go. We'll send them straight in to take out the archers. The defenses must fall, my lord. Okay. The city. Press your attack. The boys here are gonna smash these walls. I'm gonna focus on that and see if we can uh, open up that wall as quickly as we can. Okay, so let's uh, let's head in and we'll bomb those guys up there. There we go. And that was that. And we're gonna go over here. Yeah, that's it. I want to shoot these guys. There we go. We've now opened up a target in there. We're going to wreck this. Rombindle's just there, just tanking it all. We're going to destroy this as utterly as we can. Yeah, not just not even hurting. Okay. 
Okay. Gyrocopter's getting mashed. So we're going to pull him out now. Move over here. We'll take our... Take our boys here. We're going to rock them up here. All the rest of you. Moving up. Moving up. Okay, open up this wall. Let's just open up as much of that area as we can. Okay. You guys. There we go. Move these guys here. And this is where we're going to use these guys to our most offense, or to our it's the most effective way of using them. It's going to pop up right here. And we're just going to shoot right inside that. Arc. Strike out! Kill him! Here we go. Vengeance! Move now! Strike out! Long be it! So he's just gonna sit right here. And this is what they were made for. Tunnel warfare. And they will just sit here. And fire. Okay. Now, these guys are just going to sit right there because I don't mind they won't come out but if they do fantastic nope pull back We said they weren't effective. Right on. Pull back out. Yeah, and you might be thinking, well, we can just charge in here. I could. And I probably will, but right now... Shout! Pull these guys out a little bit. Here we go. Move in. Let's break their back. Right, we got our long beards with axes. I don't want 
them up on that wall, just smashing shit. Um, Thunder is going to want here. These guys to engage here. Now Thunder is over here. Yep, and that's what we wanted from our Iron Drakes there. So what we're going to do is... in that combat. It's not good. We don't want that. So we have to pull these guys out. Pull out, guys. So what we're going to do here is we're going to set these guys up right there. We can get them past the fighting. I haven't even moved him in. We don't really need him yet, but we'll move, move him into the fighting just for fun. Come on, quick. Kill him! Shout! For the ancestor gods! This is the problem with the Iron Drakes. They're so friggin' fiddly and they don't always do what you want them to do. Oh, they've run out, that's why. Not doing much because they've run out. That was silly, Belf. You didn't even see that. No, I didn't. Push up here. Don't really need to hit up that. We got up here. Put a bit of troop in here. What we're gonna do is we'll move we these guys here. I'm gonna keep one here in defense. Reach fast! Reach fast! Double 
Hang on, you lot. Calm down. We stay put, holding ammunition. You can come back in, mate. Why do you keep stopping? Can I just funnel him down there nicely? Broken. Move now. No! Go! Go and the plan here is really rather simple. We're just going to So the plan there was really simple, we just wanted to engage but still have our archers and gunners be able to at least fire in a little bit. And this should allow most of them to do that. Now, lobbed up here a little bit, we need to move forward. You guys can sit back over here now. We're all good. Threat pretty quickly. Yeah, shattered. Okay. Take them off skirmish mode. It is a reckoning. Getting a little bit of fire in there. Not as much as I would like, but that's okay. Long beards will be able to hold them and throw them back. And this is the bonus. See, I mean, you can see here that I'm not getting a lot of fire out of the um, the Thunderers. They are very effective, but they're just, like now, my archers are doing all the work, basically. They have wronged us. Let the vengeance begin. Blow through. What are you doing? Didn't mean to get you. And no. Attracted. We're going to move you guys in. Oh, hang on. They've run out of ammunition. We don't want to throw them into that. We're going to take unnecessary losses. Okay. Taking a pounding now. Long be it. 
right, gonna move the long beards out of the way. do their job. Okay. Both our quarrelers have run out of... Um, so they've both run out of missiles, which is cool. So they're now just... Uh, we're going to move them up the back. We've still got a fair amount of ammo with these guys. So we're going to go... Like that. Like that. Should give them firing line. We demand blood. We demand blood. Nothing can stop us. Strike out. Some goblin. Actually, we'll see you back there. Us. Just in case we get charged. Yes, These guys, not the best combatants in the world, but that's okay because the there's nothing arch. left to these guys. Not too bad. Thunderous. Shout. Hunt the arch. Should have line of sight now. There we go. Long the edge. Move up. Them up. They're gonna break before they even get to us. Yep. And broken. Okay, and that's it. That's all she wrote. And because it's a siege battle, you don't need to follow them down. Because they, that's it, they're wiped out to a two-man. Or to an orc, as the case may be. So not too bad. We made some little mistakes there, but nothing too majorly. Um, I mean, we lost 220. And they lost, what? There's just over a thousand there. Sorry, just under a thousand, I should say. And I've managed to spill water down me. Isn't that fun? Okay. So not too bad. Um, you know, we we used our front line to the best. Uh, we got 103 kills out of them. They used all their ammunition. Um, we really used that as an ammunition uh, tie-up. We used as much as it as we could to take as little losses as we could. Now we're going to occupy. We've got a healing potion out of that, which is cool. Now, he's more than likely going to try and move in here. More, more than likely. I'd be very surprised if he doesn't. Um, I know I certainly would if I was in their case. So, uh, we've got our next point here. What do we want to put in? Turn time between each person and the answers. Yeah, Google melee resistance, ice and turn. Sorry, missile, missile resistance, which is uh, which is always a good one. But I think what we're going to do... What's, what was this one? Yeah, that was pretty good, wasn't it? So, ammunition for both um, quarrelers, thunderers, and grudge throwers, and damage. So we do want that, as this is sort of the build we're going for, a very uh, ranged heavy build here. Um, so we're going to feel that out. Uh... We've got... Some guys on fighting green skins, which certainly would help. Scouting, cleanse, corruption, damage walls. We don't want any of that. I think we're going to go with this um, for buffing, which is basically what we want. So what we really want now is we want our... Uh, we want... Not that. We want an engineering college, because as soon as we get that up and running, we get... Um, 
I can't remember the name of the guys now. Uh, what are they? Have a look at that. We get Master Engineers. Now, Master Engineers are really cool because they are basically massively increase the damage of your ranged weapons which again if we're going around that build of a more rangey type build and just shattering things from range and that's what we're going to want to do okay so we've done pretty well we've moved in here to secure Karagdron and and or just confront this army which we should be able to polarize pretty easily um uh, we've managed to take varic kills we'll probably lose Barak, but we can always move forward again uh, and take it now that we have the uh Varanecca hills behind us. We should probably just really quickly raid the following region. Listen. Yeah, not going to be doing that anytime soon. Yeah, that's way off. So, what we probably want to be doing is looking here. What? Yeah, okay, we can trade with them. And so, let's begin the that. Do for you on this fine trade day. agreement. They really want to trade with us. Uh, we'll well. get that going because we want to confederate them. So I'm not going to ask them for too much cash on that one. Yes. Uh, who else have we got current? Yeah, you're doing now pretty well. Hole to drive. Won't happen. No. See, these guys are the... Uh, they're the annoying ones at the doors. Uh, who else have we got? We've got military alliances with most of the Empire now, so, so that's pretty good. Welcome, oldest friends of the Empire. Military alliance. Sigma's yep. Will. Definitely. That'll open up a, a really cool Golmarez um, campaign for us. These are the only guys Thy that don't like will. us. Come in peace. Non aggression. Military access. And it's high, so let's make them pay for it. Yep, we can make them pay more for it. And. Very, very rich, apparently. On it! Okay. Excellent. Alright, so that's pretty good. We're at war with just about everyone Kislev. from that end. My These guys are usually pain in the bum. Yep, oh, yep. Uh, we're not at war with these two yet. They're the Norse tribes up the top. We don't need to be. Uh, once we should be able to get trading with them so now that we probably next turn we can probably trade with them we're at war with all the vampires we don't really want to go to the war with the wood elves right now although it doesn't overly matter so that's pretty much it guys that's our you know we've made our moves um is there anything base wise that needs to be built let's have a look no we're good okay all right so let's it's really just time to see what the orcs are going to do now we don't really want to see what's going on over here This game. I don't know why you sent people all the way out there. So this is what we really want to see. So what's Zaza going to do here? Yep. There we go. We're not even we're just going to auto back, guys. Um, oh, he didn't take it. And he's just going to raid it. You going to take it? No. He looks like he... But I make no oath for the surety of your life. No. Sorry, no. So he's most likely in a stance here where he's going to try and catch me. And he's pulled back. So we're going to, we're going to pull in here. Greetings. What do you uh, Yeah, we can do that. Oh. Here, our honoured dwarf kin. What do you got for me? Yeah, we can certainly do that. Let's uh, let's get some money. That's that's uh, okay. Cool. How high will you go? It's going high. There we go. Done. So as we get in the military alliance, we're starting to reveal more and more of the map, which is the nice thing about doing the military alliance. It is a little bit of a plan, play around, but it, I mean, you think about it, I, I've gone into, what, three levels in, it's cost me about eight turns to get in to get all the full diplomacy, but how much money have I just made out of it? 
Um, now, obviously, as you get to higher levels, it, it has diminishing returns, but even like I would even do that even on the hard levels just to get that up. Because um, the amount of money we're making, not only off trade, but then also off the uh, the whole diplomacy itself, is just awesome. So we we can just sit here if we want, but what we and, and we will for this turn. We'll just sit here. Um, he's heading off over here. We're going to move in here. All right. Gonna repair this, and. We're going to go straight into growth and replenishment because that's important. The next thing we're going to want to do here, um, Varicules has, it's at level two, so we're going to go straight to level three. It already has level two garrison, which is great. So they'll be rebuilding. Um, and it has a little um, bit of money coming in, which is fantastic. So that's a good start for our new, sort of our new alliance. This one's hanging way out here. So it, we will get it. But I, in order to do that, I either need to clear out here and be fighting off here and have an army sitting here and an army sitting here as the front line, or one here, one here. Uh, the problem with having one here, one here is this army is going to be defending and sort of sweeping through here. This army here is kind of stuck here. So you really want to move down and take Iron Rock because you're going to be facing off against them coming around here and up through here. So let's go through. Yeah, we're gonna repair that, repair that. It's not very much to repair, so it's not a big deal. Um, we've certainly got the money for it. We don't have to worry too much. Now, from here, we're making 2K a turn, which is okay, but it's not amazing. It, it could be better. Uh, there's not much we can do here. Has this guy moved? No, he's gone back down. He's just sitting there raiding. Where are we at here? You, all right, so you still got a little bit. Public order's going down one point at a time. So it's not, I mean, did he do anything here? He didn't do anything here. All right, so that's pretty good. We can just sit on that for now um, and we'll end the turn there. Oh, move that. Don't know why that should just be permanent. So what's really interesting is they've made it so that now you can you can take anywhere, whereas before you could only take areas that were actually good to you. So no, so it made it so that pretty much only the greenskins could come up and it, and really, I mean, you could attack and destroy a Karak if you were the humans if you wanted to, but you couldn't ever settle it. So now that they can settle it, it just opened up the war so much better. Um, you now got well, the greenskins who couldn't come and settle down. Sorry, the humans couldn't go up there and, um, like, the Empire couldn't fight uh, Skarsnik sitting up there above them. They could go and fight them, they could go and raid them, we could wipe them out, but they couldn't take them, now they can. So it just makes it a little bit better, a bit more versatile. Opens up the map for a lot more, a lot better battles, I think. Some different stratagems. Okay, so what we'll probably be doing here... Now, I wonder if we can... We should be able to get a trading alliance here, I would think. I wonder if that's open to us now. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you're starting to improve. That's good. Onward. He's... We've just discovered him. Which is cool. To war! Come, come, you gonna, kin. Let us feast and yet. drink. Not likely. Yeah, he'll want us to pay him, which you can do, but it's not worth that much to me. Aye. Yeah. Aye. Let's have a look. Let's, Let's see if I give him a bit of money. Say. Maybe we'll he'll like us. Before off gold. Six thousand, twenty-four thousand. Not going there. I'll give you that one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see if what is that. How is that improved our standing with them? Are we from another hold or uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so the condemn is for great power. Uh, treaties, gifts given to character. So that gave us 10. That was pretty good. Uh, okay. How can I help? So from here... Right, so he's, he's come up. One more, well, they're probably... 
we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're going to we're gonna wreck this guy. Yep, we're gonna fight this. And then once we've taken that, we're gonna just zip back, replenish a little bit. We'll then have our two armies ready to, to, to strike and take out um, uh, the iron mines there on the corner where the uh, volcano is. I can't forget the name of it all of a sudden. Um, once we've done that, okay, so what do they got? Let's have a look at their army composition real quick. So standard orc boys, uh, orc biggins, sorry. Got some squig hers, so they're gonna be quick and they chew through um, armor, those guys. But they have fairly low, pretty good in melee, but if you get on some guns to them or something, some more orc biggins. Goblin wall friders, spider riders, the chariots are gonna be a problem. They can break through our lines. Orc boys, orc boys, orc boys. Goblin wolf car. Okay, so they don't really have a lot of arch cavalry. This is the only real archers they have in the entire unit. We have some reserves coming in. They won't be very big, to be honest. Um, okay, so there's two schools of thought here. This, see how we're, we're well within range already? We kind of want to pull back and bombard them from afar, realistically. And so I'm thinking what we'll do. Move up here where we have a client. Uh, just a cleaner line of sight. Let's, uh, let's throw. Yep. I like that. Okay. Uh, they do have a lot of, as I said, um, cavalry, which they're going to be wanting to get around the back here. So we're going to we're going to station our slayers right up in in amongst it here. Uh, we're going to move you guys over here. Uh, we're going to want to push them really wide. If they want to, if they want our front lines, they're going to have to pay for it. We're going to move these guys in the back line because we don't want them to take the charge. And we're going to warrior. move our front line here. It is a reckoning. Dwarf warriors. You guys, I'm going to want back here. For the ancestors. Dwarf warriors. It is a reckoning. Why are you doing that? But that's okay. Yep. So we're going to put you like that. There you go. You guys, you're gonna sit back here. I don't know why you long jumped back there beards. again. Gonna move Vengeance. the long beards here and here. Minus. These guys are gonna sit right in the front. They're just gonna throw in as many satchel charges when the charge comes as they Not can. Ancestors. Slayers are ready to answer the call when they come after my, inevitably come Come after on, them. Man. Uh, Quarrelers, we are going to rock you. They don't have any answer to. So we'll move you there. We'll move you yeah, out of here a little bit more. Maybe even put you there. These are our AP dealers for the biggins. So they will munch through the biggins. Uh, that spreads us pretty wide. Now they're going to come around both sides. We have the slayers to deal with most of that. These guys a little bit back. So we're getting a couple of shots. Actually, you know what? Move them there for a second. Ready to serve. I'm gonna put you on the front like that. Right there like that. As tight as we can so they can move straight back through our lines because it's gonna happen. And we're going to spread that front line a little bit more. There we go. Perfect. So they're going to hit us from here. We are attacking, but I reckon they're going to attack us. These guys are ready to 
basically roll. Actually, we might bring them in a little bit more. I did have them there for security with the other ones, but I don't think we're going to need it. I'm actually going to leave the miners in the back. Hmm. No, actually. I'm going to put them up here. They'll throw in. Okay. We are pretty much ready. I'm going to whack you right in the center here. Give you the best opportunity to give as much of this as you can. And that should be pretty good. Let's start it up. See how we go. Now, we will have some reinforcements coming in the back here. Not a lot. Yeah, it's very little. Probably just leave it there. Okay. So we're going to want the grudge throwers to get on to those biggins. Oh, hang on. Biggins. There we go. So that's pretty much the hardest unit they've got there. Like that. Uh, our large is going to be wanting to go after this. Dealing with it. Okay. Well, that's Kelly's yep. hours. Well, the high game. Here they come as normal. Strike out. Move. And you go, boys. Okay, archers are in the back, that's alright, they charge, but we were braced. They don't have bonus versus large, but they're just... Well, they're just hardy as hell. They've already broken. It's our slayers doing their job. Nothing can stop us! Move! Okay. Dwarf miners and blasting oh charges, we're gonna move back. But let her bless our aim! Turn them down! Okay, Is so where's our move Strike back? Out. On the way! Oh. On the way! Move back. versus large. Oh, there's their quarrelers. Yep. That's going to wreck them all pretty quickly. Alright, we're going to run our long beards in on both of those guys. They're there. And collapse in. Yep, good, good, good. Fire on them. 2v1 here, we're gonna... Yep, Slayers are doing their job. Okay. Now these guys will probably come back, but that's okay. We're gonna run our Slayers. Have we got anything that needs attention? They probably need to come and deal with these guys. These guys still have plenty left, so we're going to want them just sort of stationed here. Blow through. Let's pull them back a little bit. Okay. Yeah, so they're getting whittled down. Quarrelers. These guys are kind of acting with impunity, so we do need to get rid of them. And we'll get rid of them. Get them! They'll be fine. Move to attack! These guys are fine. Fine, move you in. Slay 
actually. Go after the Yeah. Slayers have done their job. They've broken again. They'll probably shatter now. Be my guess. Yep, they're shattered. Right, so let's run our Slayers now in. Okay. So that front line's done their job. Rev Shot's still working as intended. These guys have broken. So we're gonna run them down. Oh, come back. Okay, we're gonna wanna sandwich these guys. Moving over for sandwiching. Same here. This is pretty much it. It's done now. Okay. Now we'll speed this up so that we just get rid of as many as we can. We'll use our archers and our rush shows to the maximum effect. Gauge them. Gauge them. Get rid of those big ones as best we can. Okay, and plow in as much as we can. So, Slayers, fastest moving dwarf horse you can get, pretty much. And they move pretty quick. I don't know if they'll catch them, but... Starting to catch some of them. Pretty much all she wrote, to be honest with you. But, let's see if the Slayers can get them. Go, boys. Come on. Pump those stumpy legs. Go on, can you catch them? No. Okay, that's the end of that. Alright, so, pretty sound. We didn't even use the backup, um, as it was. Uh, but that's okay, because we didn't really need to. All right, so we we lost 284, they lost 872, so probably more than we would have liked, but it's just frontline that we mostly lost. With a little bit of the Slayers there, but they got an extra rank out of that, so it was nice. A uh, little bit of the Miners were blasting charges, but mostly our frontline did their job, which is really what they're there for, just soak up damage and just hold the line, which is exactly what they did. Um, look at that. That's our Slayers they ripped through, 105 kills. Very good. Who else did... Who was the... They were definitely MVP. Yeah, definitely MVP. Off the match. Uh, that tanky front line stood for a bit. Excellent. Okay, so that worked really well. On to glory for the ancestors. Right, so we some earth gold there. So he does have one here, so I, I, I can follow him down. But this would put us in striking range, so... To war. How can I help? Am I going to move here? I do have a move here. Yes. You know what? I'm just going to clean him up. Oh, crap. That's not good. We lost our slayers. Ugh. I didn't even... I didn't think. Just auto. Didn't think. Oh, that's right. We can make more slayers. Painful, because it was on level 4, but again, not that bad. So, there's a couple of things we can do here. He has a pretty formidable for force. Um, we're going to want to move back home. So we're now, we're just within site garrisoning. So there's not a big garrison there, but that just gives a little bit. So, we are on force march though, which isn't amazing, but uh, I think it was worth it. So, we're going to do Inspiring Presence. Uh, now, this guy is just sitting there. We're going to do that to give him a little bit of extra oomph. But he, we're pretty much, with this guy, we're pretty much going to be running down um, enemy siege, lot holdout time. So, chance of underway. Um, construction cost of capital, we're definitely going to be doing that one. Untainted, we're definitely going to be doing that one. Um, casual punishment, definitely going to do that. So, we're, we're doing stuff to just basically sit him. He's going to be our sit there lord. 
um, in our base and just defensive lord basically wherever we decide to put him now we have a full stack here and we can attack uh, which I am inclined to do at least get over there I mean there's a that's a pretty big decent army what have you got here uh, actually he doesn't have garrison there he's just got the standard but that is on top of he's already yeah I mean it's not bad if we start if we start at this turn I kind of want to zip over here. I kind of want to move him in to tie him up. Zip over, take that, and then move back to um, bolster it, which will give us all but Barivar. So let's let's sit pretty for one turn. Move up here. We don't, we don't really want to see this. Move on. Uh, Empire doing their thing. That's a very heavy uh, sword line there. Do not sully my presence any longer than you must. Yeah, we're, we're really, uh... We're really not going to be... Not going to be... Doing anything like that, so but we're off. Sorry, just got a... Just got a text message. You know how important it is to stop everything you're doing to take to answer that text message. I feel like that's one of those things that we all do too much. We're just addicted to our phones. Like it's, you just, you end up just sitting there going, oh, I'm sitting here doing this, this, um, this clip, this video. And uh, you get that message and you just, you just got to, to answer it, don't you? Even though realistically they can wait till after and I can just send them a text message. It's just the society we live in, isn't it? completely addicted to our phones so all right so what are we looking at here so the dwarves basically own all of this and we're across here and I think this is Skarsnik here so that's the goblins okay so we just got that so our growth is going up way up which is great income from trade Leadership under siege, Euro reduction, Oath of loyalty. That's public law. That's public order plus one to all provinces, which is pretty damn good. Income plus five certainly wouldn't be bad, although we're not struggling for that at the moment. Gold mines, stone quarries, ancestors contain public order plus two. Gold mines, iron mines. Yep, cool. Okay, so this is more. This is more going further into. See, I feel like construction costs most central buildings. At this end of the game, you'd think that'd be better having somewhere here. Do you know what I mean? Income from gen cutters. This is pretty much just all income. We're not really struggling for income just yet. Uh, that one's good for the Skaven. So by the time you get in here, like your income from all gem cutters of Beast Inquiries plus 20%, like that's a massive. That's a really nice one to have. But we've gone about as far, we probably got that one and that one for now as we're gonna go. Uh, leadership plus 10 when under siege is not bad either. But really gonna wanna start working on our army now and strengthening it. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna go under that quarrelers and give them some more, some more strength when they're attacking. So we've gotten a little bit of, um, We'll come safe. out of this. We're going to jump up into here. This is going to give us our... What we're going to do? We're going to do that. We need to get another one of these guys. And... What else have we got? Hmm. So we've still got a pretty tanky front line. That's just for dealing with our cavalry. Yeah, we're all pretty good here. Is there anything else I need? Possibly, it's not too bad. Again, this is, we want to keep it cheap. So, possibly another one of these, I think. Just to give us a little bit more oomph. So this deals with that with um, 
large unit, so armor piercing missiles anti-large. And so that's anti-large. That's going to be our... Yeah, I think that's probably enough. The other side of things is we get another Slayers, but Slayers are 230. These guys are like 179. So I think that's what we'll do. They've, they've got two turns. By the end of those I'm turns, they'll be now. ready to go. Um, we can... Where are we going here, guys? We can move in here and start sieging. If we click up lightning strike, it doesn't change a thing. So we're gonna... Fight! Yeah, we're just gonna surround that settlement. Just see for him to come out. We, we want to fight him. We want to fight him on our turns. I don't want to be jumping walls and that sort of stuff right now. Let's just fight him the way we want to fight him. Let's go and have a look and see what we can do here. It's definitely, yeah, yep, yeah. You're yeah. getting better. Yep, getting better. Attitude's improving dramatically. Um, it's good. We're gonna. And what can the we do for you? Give on him. This fine day? Give you another payment. I think another small offer. Yeah, I think that'll sure. do. Of course, it's a high success. I'm just giving it to him. It's going to jump us up to 52, so slowly improving that. That's good. Uh, cool. Yeah, who else? Barak Zah. That's who I wanted to go and talk to. <laughs> so, mate. Yeah, so we're incredibly good spirits with them. Treaties back Zah, yeah. Ministry of Actions, blah, 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 blah. Let's, Let's see, see what, what you have to say. We'll hear it before all like we success. Oh, so the other faction to join your confederation. He's, yeah, okay. Not interested just yet. Not interested just yet. Not sure why. Where is the... They're still level 1. Strength is 55, though. So our strength... What's our strength? Strength rank 55. So our strength rank is, in, is 3. So we... We're pretty good. I don't know why they don't want to join. Yeah, obviously not feeling under pressure to join at this stage. And they probably will when they feel some pressure. So, okay, cool. We're looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. So we turn another turn. And it's all running pretty well right now. And yeah. So, oh, here we go. We've got our fight. Let's, uh, so that's a, that's a pretty nifty army. Hmm. We were trying to hurt, we wanted to hit this up with both armies. I mean, we can win this, but we'll probably take some damage. But we can definitely win it. I would have preferred this in an underway battle. If we pull back, though... If we pull back, he won't get the... Yeah. Let's pull back. Just for now. Because, I mean, I can fight it, and we probably would win it. At 50-50, we'd probably win it. But, I don't want to take that much damage. I'd like to take it fairly easily, because the next steps, we don't want to lose three quarters of our army taking that one spot there. We're better off waiting a turn or two, or one more turn after this, to get our second army in there. The less damage we take, the quicker we can move on to the next part. So you don't really want to have this massive fight and drain ourselves. So... This is a bit annoying. This is the only bad part about Moron Impulse. It's fantastic, you've got all the factions, but you've, like, they've got to work out a better way of coming. Like, we're not even looking at those factions. They're not even... Alright, failure. Confederation. Cool. Okay. You know who I am. So we're just gonna. You know what we're gonna do? 
We're going to bait here a little bit. We're going to move to here, which is just inside our lines. Yeah, a little bit more. And inside our reinforcement, and we're going we're gonna to ambush. Just see if anybody wants to take that bait. Move that one up there. You've got one more turn before you're nice and full. And then we're going to hit them with both sides, the hammer and anvil. But you know what, guys? We're sitting on an hour now, so I'm going to call it there. In the next episode, we're going to smash them with both armies. It's going to be an epic battle there. And then we're going to clean that up, take that, and move over here and take this. This should hopefully encourage Barak Var to... Uh... Where did his army go? That's a secondary. Hmm. I'm surprised he hasn't jumped down and taken that. But anyway, um, we're going to do all that in the next episode. So um, please tune in for the next one. Or look us up. Uh, as always, guys, if you've enjoyed what you've seen, then you know hit that like, smash the subscribe, hit up the little bell button for all the different bits and pieces. Uh, if you that is, if you're watching on Facebook, if you're watching on uh, sorry on YouTube, if you're watching on Facebook, then like, follow the page, share the page out to your mates. Follow us on Instagram at Dog Shadow Gaming and on Twitter at Dog Shadow Game one uh that's pretty much it guys enjoy and thanks for watching